<laughs> I was trying to hold my breath so damn long. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh so I guess we gotta work out our, our uh, audio issues. I'm not an athlete like that anymore. <laughs> All I heard was farts and giggles and stuff falling around. Dude, I, I was holding back the whole time, man. I was like, what the fuck, man? All right, well, <laughs> welcome to our third episode of. The Vault of Chaos, and uh, that was our third <laughs> an intro, I guess, right, Johnny? But yeah, yeah, but we have a, a, a very special guest with us. Who today. looks like we got? We we have a cousin Mr. with us, Tex Davenport, and I'll let you guys elaborate a little bit more on uh, you know our association and our friendship with Mr. Tex Davenport over many. Probably a couple decades, I would yeah. think. Tex, can you hear us, Tex? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know if I didn't know I was on yet or not. Yeah, yeah how's it going? We're on the whole time. Yeah, we're kind Been of still on. introducing you. Go ahead, D. Hi, Texan. Well, Tex Davenport, fucking introduce yourself, sir. Michael Tex Davenport from Glacier, Washington, for thirty-four years. Of course, grew up in Texas and went to Cali for a bit and been back and forth a lot, either chasing snow or dirt for the most part. <laughs> and, and, and Tex, I was kind of looking back at uh, some of the interviews uh, that you did with uh, Standard uh, Films and uh, a couple of the other guys back in the day. And uh, apparently you came from Texas. And you thought, I'm going to go out near uh, the West Coast, and I want to learn how to go snowboarding, but I'm from Texas. Teach me what to do. And the, and what happened, the, the guys in, in Baker uh, said, hey, Tex, just point it down the hill and go fast and go off the cliff. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they were... <laughs> Luckily, I bumped into him in the backcountry uh, at Baker before the season started. So, actually, ran into Farmer and Polly Poff. And so you ran into there? the wrong crew. No, I ran into the <laughs> right crew because Craig Kelly <laughs> was both with Farmer and Holly Poff. So, there you go. Well, Craig Kelly, what a, uh, you know, great gentleman. Uh, you know, big praise yeah. to him. Farmer, he's uh, kind of like you. <laughs> well, hey, um, you can for a minute, Tex. Uh, just so our fans out there, know, uh, we cross paths three days as professional snowboarders, and then John and I were talking, and uh, when we started doing the dirt bike thing together a little bit, you were in the segment that we did in Canada. We've had a few, I think, two to three text games yep. along the way. One at your house and the Bubba other one. Been to, Bubba's yep. been to every text games except for the last one, which is like yep. eight, eight or ten years ago. Yep. Where are you yep. Yep. There was a couple of other Krusty Demons movies yep. that you went on a few trips with, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you went out to uh, you went out to the desert with us on some long tour we did. We went to uh, we went to uh, um, San Felipe for Dana's truck race, and we had to fly I had to fly around in that flying machine and get the shots with my buddy Andy McDonald. 
You All right. Hey, Johnny, you weren't you weren't there. I wasn't at that one. No. We took uh, fuck. We took fucking Pierce. Pierce, right? Look, yeah, Pierce. Here's his ass up there on the wall. Yeah, the highlighter. Yeah, yeah. the highlighter. And uh, yeah. fucking yeah. Texas guy had a a fucking hang glider with a motor on it, and we were it's racing. Yeah, we were racing trucks out there with. Uh, and man, they they t- he got in the front of this fucking hang glider and pinned it, dude, in Mexico, and took off. And they were flying around. Uh, Tex was getting the shot, right, Texan? We had to fly over across the water to the volcano and go around the volcano a couple of times first, and that was pretty sketch. Is that the one you made me fly in in Omac when I was? Um, exactly. And it was it yeah. looked like the do- it was like a dog dragging its ass with worms. Because it was so weighed down with me in the back of it. Yeah. I, was, I was filming the whole thing. I was filming the whole thing. That was at a text game. Text game. You trying to film yeah. Are you filming yeah. that, Bob? You yeah. filming that? I like that, but, man, I can't fit in those things, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, guys, you guys both got issues, dog. You guys both got issues. <laughs> but that, that, was, that, that had to have been the same glider or the same yeah. thing. Yeah, I could. I was trying to think of that tax. I knew there was a, I knew there was a big tour that we went on and we messed it up. That's right, and I forgot all about that. Remember when we were talking about the um, the helicopter in Canada? Every time we we flew the bikes under the chopper and the thing oh, would yeah. out of you every time you if I can put the chopper on. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know if the guys have the footage. Uh, if uh, we can have our IT team put on uh, maybe that footage of just uh, hooking up from the chopper, yeah. pulling the bikes up in the net. But yeah. I remember that you got shocked like hell every time uh, that you would hook that up. Maybe you don't remember that because you had too much electricity in your body. I but. think I think I was I was growing the extra energy I think and kind of getting off on it. There you are. There you are. There's there your Red Bull, huh? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> See that? See that Yeah. Check? Yeah. yeah. That, that shit was are. bad. That that stuff right there that you guys came that was up with. pretty cool. And, and flew it's it to a cool. no one's ever ridden a dirt bike on ever or ever will. Yeah, yeah. no that was the first to say. No binding t- First yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we were going. They were dropping us off Look where we couldn't shit. even ride to, kind of deal. And you had gay parade, guy parade, or gay parade, whatever his name is, guy parade. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What he was, a, he's such a gnarly off-road rider. There look he is. At, look at that dropping. And, and thorny. Nobody's yeah. ever dropped that kind of thing. Look at That's that shit. thorny. Jason Thorn, I think. Yeah, thorn dog. Yeah. <laughs> look at him right <laughs> there also. Yeah. Oh, That's Jesus. gnarly shit right there, man. Heavy. Yeah. That was a good trip. Yeah. That, that would have been my second time rolling to that into that zone. I, I think I've been there three times total. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Tex. Yeah. Sorry, Tex. Do you got any, uh, you know, you got any good stories or fond memories of traveling with us as the Krusty Crew? <laughs> what you can talk You're- about? <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them. I mean, it's, yeah, that, there's so much. All right. I mean, from the time time Go I on. met you, yeah, the time I met you guys in the back country of Mammoth, and y'all were still doing the snowboard thing. That was pretty ironic, just to bump into you out in the middle of nowhere, sort of deal, and then got the ride with meet Dana. Or am I already? Spot X. Yeah, Spot X. that was yeah, that was in the back country of Mammoth. Yeah, that was one of my favorite. That was a badass jump, that big ass uh, road jump we did on yeah. the snowboards. Oh yeah, I got. I sent you guys some good pictures of that road jump and the crash. Yeah. Oh no, that was in Canada, but I know what you're talking about now. Where I did the backflip to to front yeah, toe hang up in the snow. That that first time we did yeah. a in, uh, Mammoth together. That yeah, was the first time we ever really, really rode hard together. I think besides crossing paths at a contest or something like that. 
Yeah. And then uh, Damien yeah. was building uh, the quarter pipe that I got to ride with with him. And I, I'd never met him before, so that was a big deal to meet Wasn't Damien. Was Zabo there, too? Zabo oh, was there. And Fulton, Fulton Jeff there. Fulton was with me also. Fulton. And was there. That's right. Seth, Seth was there. We threw him off the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we did. And he was trying to snow. He had just barely get to the kicker and then just get catapulted and uh, ragdolled down the hill. And I go, that dude, Harley, he, he don't care. And I remember Dana or John <laughs> saying, well, wait till you see this guy on a dirt bike. And then that was when Krusty One came out shortly after that, I remember. Yeah, that was yeah, it. And you yeah. do the flying fishes. You take your, unstrap your bindings and just pin it at the lip and send it full, full. Yeah. Of hey, what happened to Bub? Did we lose Bub? Uh, he'll be back. He had to yeah. check on his air pressure in his go cart. <laughs> oh yeah, it's another one. What about the skits? Remember the remember the uh, what movie was that Bubba skit in? Tess? Uh, it's number it was six. Number six. Part six. Yeah. 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 And we were well, well, so we'll we wait were... for uh, Bubba to come back in. But I, what All I right. want to suggest is uh, if our IT guys can play uh, some things of tex going down some extreme mountains because uh tex is known for what was the first one that uh was in alaska and you won the the extreme uh king of the hill, hill. i don't know what it was called oh, no, king of the hill that was king of the hill with no all knows it the first one was called the uh, it was called the first world extreme snowboard Con championships yeah and they were, in, they were, in alaska right in alaska so there's two of them and then it went to yeah. king of the hill i won the first one and goodwill won the second one that's right and then it was like farmer or somebody behind that and, yeah. which was yeah. the one, which was the one where oh, that helicopter. what's that remember the helicopter crash tech what was that number three or number two <clears throat> that was my First one, Heli, that crash that I got out of, and right before you got in, my dad just got out, and then you got in and went and crashed the heli. The one that I crashed in? Yeah, it was the same one. We, and we used it earlier that year, too, and before the Baker opened. There was snow in Alaska. So we flew to Alaska and met the Liskas, and then... I had to meet him at Liska's house and drive the fuel truck out to the pass. And then the helicopter came and picked up Liska and he went to McDonald's within the heli and flew through the drive through and grabbed us some breakfast. And then we <laughs> went and rode that heli till we ran out of gas. Yeah, that's that the same one that, that Dana crashed in. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah, that was a problem because, I mean, we flew out of the bar with that guy out of the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he you fly out of the bar, then you fly back to the bar. Yeah, well, I told him to stunt fly that thing, so he was stunt flying it. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were, were filming Double O Zabo, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Double O Zabo number two. And I gave Dana the, the rifle that I bought down the road, and uh, we didn't have blanks. So, so, Dana, make it look good. You know, we don't have Zabo <laughs> here with us, so. You know, just come flying over the ridge and fly at me. And, of course, I heard the bullets go right whizzing by my ear. These Dana thoughts. <laughs> oh, well, the gun jammed. And then I heard, you know, one go right past me. <laughs> and then he landed. He's like, oh, why don't we, you know, maybe get one more shot. And I'm like, all right. And I was loading film, I think, D. And that's when I heard, pink, and the blade stopped. And you yeah. guys landed right on top of me. The blade flew over me, the whole thing. Dang. The front windshield. You didn't get the shot either. Well, I was loading film. I, you yeah, weren't, I, you didn't wait. <laughs> I didn't wait. I was in the air, dog. Yeah. You didn't get a yeah. three, two, one either. Hey, so yeah. you got a little bit of your snowboard footage playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, here's some good footage of. Uh, There's Texan. Here's Tex. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Look at his. Yeah. 
Here you go. <laughs> Here we go. That looks like Tom Burt right there. Yeah, it is that Tom. Is, that's uh, that's uh, Tom. I know that style. That's the Tom Burt. Yeah, right. and then Rocket's with us, too. So the three of us are just annihilating LeGras, France. This is a Texan here coming up off the little cliffy. Oh, uh, here, here you go. Here's the tag. A little fluffy. How's my little sluffer wave? Yeah. <laughs> and I watched this footage. Uh, Tom Burt's like, yeah, it's a good thing Tex, you know, cleared it out for me. Yeah. yeah. So, Frog, like, you know, lifting a couple of rocks. So see this shot right here? Here, dude. Well, that one on the open face, I was following Tom a little bit, and I just yeah. detoured yeah. off the main trail for just a second to slash a wave. I yeah. flew over the wave into a crevasse and stuck on the other wall and barely got out, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. When you're on a glacier, you can leave Tom Burt very, you know, you, sh you should just stay with him. That's what I learned. You know, that's, all I, that's all I ever did. Well, you know, it's <laughs> uh, what sucks, Texas. Uh, Tom Burt used to be Damien and I's uh, teammates, and he yeah. well, he couldn't jump. He'd just do all this shit. So every time Damien and I asked for advice from Tom Burt, yeah. he would just shovel down, and he'd be like, oh, it's anybody's game, and he'd just, like, take off. He never would tell us. And look what, <laughs> look what you guys are doing right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we saw that from a restaurant up in La Grave from a few miles away through the binoculars. I go, let's yeah, go do that. he does that kind of stuff. Here goes Tex. Here you go. Yeah, they leave a rope in that notch so you can climb through. That, is that a, like a first well, descent right there? That's pretty gnarly. No, no. No, they, those Europeans do it all the time. That's why they leave the, the climbing rope there, you know? Oh, like right, yeah. right there. Right there. That's where the uh, the climbing roof is, and the camera stops. So, Tom Day beating on the camera, and last second it starts right here when I drop in. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So the camera almost locked up, and we almost <laughs> missed the shot right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's Tom Burt. Who's that? Yeah, Tom Burt trying. That's Tom Burt trying to follow me. <laughs> With the old Barneys, I remember the white Barneys. <laughs> There's my boy Rocket. That guy There's took me Rocket. in when I first started snowboarding and showed me the uh, rope. We used, to, hood. Yeah. we used to go out to uh, Telluride with Rocket. Yeah. Uh, his, 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 that's his real name. His grandfather named him that when he came out because his head was so pointed. You should name that kid Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's his real name. It, like All right, He lived yeah. up to it, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. Is that you right there? Uh, yeah. It's, I think. How yeah. How was that? Powder, powder oh, riding. Yeah. In. There's nobody tracking anything up in front of you. Uh uh. We, we had our own helicopter. We're going to be stuck watching this shit all day. So, uh, well, that's our kind of introduction to. Mr. Tex Davenport. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of go over, uh, you know, the stories of of Tex. Uh, I think we'll have a couple of episodes that uh, we can do, you know, with Tex uh, on snowboard adventures because, boy, we had a lot, and yeah. that's where we actually we met Tex, and Dana already explained that. Uh, and we became friends, and then he came over and hung out with us in Krusty Demons. Let's cross over into uh, Krusty Demons. Break it down, Tex. Krusty Demons. Um, so, yeah, the movie came out, and, and then what got me back on the bike is, I believe, Fox came to the hatchet. And asked them if they would do the the new Terra Firma, which would be part four. And I don't know how many years it was between three and four, but a bunch. So I got to run back up camera and then this, that, and the other. Somehow we met a dude that gave us motorhomes. So I was sponsored by a motorhome company. And... I knew the ropes in Canada, so you, you guys swooped me up. That's what I think would happen. <laughs> oh, the cam loops? Yeah, the cam loops, huh? Go Helimoto with uh, what's what's the guy's name? Guy Parade. Guy Parade. Yeah. 
Yeah, and Ian Podluck and Brian Downing. Was, yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty cool trip. Trip, man. I was filming on them with you guys in Western Canada. And uh, uh, Vancouver we're, was it? We're, Kamloops we're in, and all those places up there. Yeah, we went up there when, when we took those helicopters and had the net and stuff like that. We went up yeah. to, like, Indian land. Nobody had ever done a motorcycle coming down so, that never thought of that no, no yeah we're... those were first descents yeah <laughs> and i'll bet nobody's ever been back no hey, we're talking <laughs> probably hey, but, hey yeah. but me and seth bought cowboy boots and wranglers and those fucking ropes we tried to do the rope shit you know what i mean because we're remember that texan there's some like cow cowboy hats too in camp uh, we, went, we went to the canadian rodeo yeah, oh, that's like right. Canadian song. <laughs> <laughs> Country festival. music festival. Yeah, so. yeah, it was a music festival. So we got all like, I still got my Wranglers. I got to wear them now because everybody wears skinny jeans. I'm like, I'll wear them. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the boots too. My my yeah. chick put the boots on and fuck. She, I got had her naked in about a minute. I was like, holy yeah. You guys should show some of that. Footage I sent you from Cam Loops and those cliff drops and those first descents. No, and that... no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to everybody out there, we don't really, we're a little amateur on our little, uh, I guess you call this Vault of Chaos show. Um, yeah, I don't your, your, tech, your tech guys seem like they're on it pretty good. Yeah, but we're not going to call it a podcast or a show because we're just going to do it however the fuck we want. We're still getting it done. So, as our, as our, <laughs> yeah, as our can't first guest, what's that? I said, as our first guest, Jackson, what do you think? I think it's, well, I think it's going pretty good. We yeah, are, yeah. Oh, that's a good answer. Besides Attaboy. being a little bit late and being a little slow on my technology with the phone, but I think we're we're doing pretty good. Yeah, well, so Tex, uh, be. Hey, Tex, Tex, I wanted to ask you uh, something, and Bub's going to chime in on this. What's that, so buddy? We went on a, on a pretty cool uh, thing that we had a competition on television, and it was called the Bluetooth Tour. And yep. we went through, like, Dumont Dunes. We went through uh, all the way up through, I think, like, Utah. Ended up in uh colorado yeah we went to glamis we went to the Utah. A big group of motorhomes oh, all the best riders that saved my life in grand right junction there. colorado and colorado we got there and it starts snowing in uh grand junction we were gonna go ride the hills in grand junction right yeah uh, and we ended up since we couldn't ride, you know, we had the motorhomes parked oh. in the parking lot, and Bubba kind of got a little loose, ended up going <laughs> to, uh, on a little sidetrack. Yeah, uh, we went to the bar, man. We went to the bar like we You went to, to the bar, a little wild turkey involved. Story yeah. And, uh, but then you did a good deed, and you, you uh, actually went. There was a father and a daughter. We're losing you, Johnny. And that one, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Am I back? Yeah, no. I can hear you. We can hear you. Hurry it up, though. We can't see you. Okay. You're... I'm going to let Bub take this one because he went and tried to uh, make somebody happy that was injured in a hospital and went with uh, dad and his That's daughter. That's right. Oh, I'm a the round go. boy got lucky. Come on, story time. I, we went to visit someone in the hospital, and her father was driving, and she was in the back with me, and I, I got molested by a chick. She was she was kind of a big girl, but that don't matter. I was I was two feet away from her father, and she was being all oh man, that was that was the first night of that. Well, just call it that you made out with her. How about that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what I call it? I don't and know. And then you came back to the crew, and we're all waiting for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was all drunk. I was and drunk. That's sorry. Where, that's where text comes in on this. Yeah, story. yeah. 
All right, right then. I'm in the yeah. fight with someone or something stupid, and and I I took a swing at the bartender or something, but he was no. Like, you, you knocked the guy off the stool next to him. Oh, oh okay. See, yeah. I was drunk. Whatever beef you had there. You, you, you ran a sweep. All right, yeah, you guys are going down a rabbit hole. No, right. we're not. We're getting into the fun part right now. Right, Tex? <laughs> well, we can't fucking see you. Your whole deal's off. And well, I'm going to let watch. Tex take it from there. All right. So, Here I go. So I just remember John saying, Tex, you see that look in Bub Bubba's eyes? I go, yeah. yeah. He goes, we got to get him out of here as quick as we can. And then about then, Bubba just rushes the hugest, biggest cowboy in the bar and basically <laughs> tackles him off his, <laughs> off his bar stool. <laughs> and they hit the ground, and somehow me and Bubba ran out the door and went left. And then John, as I found out later, said they went this way because the cops were there. And then you guys ran out to the right. So That's I was right. Bubba in the motor home while well, he was still to, walking. You had to, you had to basically put your hand over his mouth and strangle him and get him out. He yeah, did. So you go, got, go there. He had my and, his leg on my head in the in yeah, the motor and home. The bartender had our back and, and yeah. the whole thing. And I told the cops, I swear this guy had a red Honda. And I took all the cops out to the right. And you know, they, they thought we're out for a red Honda. They were calling it on the radio, the whole thing. Yeah, but. But I, I was at the motorhome with with her. Texas yeah. on my head telling me to shut <laughs> up or we're going to get arrested. Or yeah, I'm gonna right. Get now it's about the time the cops were walking right past the motorhome. And I had Bubba, like, by the neck and my hand around his mouth. <laughs> and, <laughs> Telling him how important it is that we don't get arrested tonight. Exactly. Okay. We, need, we needed to ride the next day. Yeah. Sounds like a big ass drunk story time. So I'm going to take a bond rip and sign out. You guys are fucking uh, going in a circle. Well, that, that's just one of the good times we that had. That is a funny story, that one. Yeah. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff from the text games as well when we went out filming with him. I, I've been to three right. text games. So, why, don't, why don't you bring that up, Bob? Since I'm not on screen. Well, okay, we did the first one in Mount Baker, and then uh, was the next one in Omac. Yes. Yeah, and then I went with a couple of the kids. I brought out a big motorhome. We went out to Texas, where you had the next one, and I filmed that one. So it was a whole weekend of festivities of punk rock bands drinking crazy stuff. Girl, the, the best stuff we had with the girls boxing. Yeah. And, uh, uh, for stuff. our IT guys, do we have uh, the text games? Our uh, text game up? segment. Yeah, here, here we go. go. Here we go. This is what I'm trying to say. <coughs> this is the first edit, the first time anything was ever published from the text games was That's this right. right here. I mean, before any magazine on the where, where, where's your property right there, Tex? It's on the Mount Baker Highway on the Canadian border, about 40 minutes from the coast of <laughs> Washington State. Look what you got going there. Yeah. You got girls <laughs> going nuts. What is, is that you dragging dirt bikes? And you got limos. Yeah, that was your old dirt bike that you brought for the Ghost Ride contest. Yeah. And I was That's yeah. right. It's yeah. just rid of all the, all the broken. Trucks and bikes in the yard. Back yeah, man. Yeah. Man, that was good times, man. <laughs> I Dude. think we had like 20 bands there, you know? Yeah. yeah. It was a party, man. Barbecue well, in the front and boxing in the oh, back. He almost, hit, he almost hit Beanie. Yeah, right Beans there. just almost got landed on. Beans There's Brian Downing. There's Puddle yeah. Boy. Yeah, that's <laughs> Puddle Boy. Yeah. Where did your ghost ride bike? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You guys said you weren't coming unless I had a ghost ride contest, so I had to have a ghost ride contest. <laughs> right? I, explain, Tex, what is a ghost ride contest? It's like where you get a beat-up bike and take all 
the compression out and just have full rebound and you get a rider that's all padded up and then you put duct tape underneath your throttle so it'll stick and you get your bike going as fast as you can and jump off last second and whoever sends the bike the furthest was the winner for and, and, and probably the best style I yeah mean, yeah i mean we could throw in some style points too yeah, <laughs> like Tim from uh, Two Stroke Therapy, he had the paddle tire, a sissy wow. bar, his truck twice, wow. twice, and a bunch there's of sparkles and stuff coming off. Yeah, man, that was a good weekend, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hey, Captain, you still got that big lump in your fucking that landing in your driveway? You keep breaking your truck trying to jump that with your fucking truck, don't you? I never broke a truck in my backyard yet. Well, you did jump that thing with your truck, though, right? I've jumped it with trucks and cars and bikes and <laughs> snowboards. And it has good <laughs> There's good trannies everywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, well, we're, <laughs> we're getting pretty long in this thing. So, uh, yeah, that's a good one. It's good to have Tex Davenport as our first guest. And but he's he's family, he's brotherhood, and uh, you know, just seeing you brings up so many. We got so many more stories from the yeah. sex game, of course, and then Vancouver, you know, all kinds of things we did. And then you guys got your snowboarding side of stuff, man. <laughs> we got a lot of stories, Tex. Well, well we're glad we're, we're glad to have Tex on as uh one of our special guests right now. And we're going to have a text on for many more to yep. come. Uh, well, so many other things to talk about. Uh, but I think maybe we'll wrap it. What do you think? Yep. Guys? Sounds good to me, guys. Yeah, let's call this one a wrap. Welcome to uh, 2023, right? Yeah, welcome to 2023. Bringing in the new year, brother. So yeah, hey, I, just, I just want to tell you guys, um, I deeply touched when John called and we got to do story time again and then, you know, got asked to be on the on the podcast and it, yeah, it meant a lot to me. So um, thanks for thinking about me and uh, we'll remember more things that we forgot uh, here <laughs> on the next one or whatever. That's my hey, look at the, look at <laughs> Love and respect, Tex. Love and respect. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the fuel injection brake lines too, and the dual dipsticks and calibrate. <laughs> here we got that one. Muscle bearings. You uh, remember John and was like, "No, Dana or John wants to here say this and say that." I go, "I got this. Let's just roll." And we like got it in one take. Boom. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I think when we go back, we'll go into your character because that was <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, they just improvision yeah. off of each other. Um, and that was it. Well, that's what we did. The movie. Well, and then also, here's another good point yeah. about that is we were there with MX Warriors filming on Link Hogle's deal. And then you guys were trying okay. to get Bubba get done because it had to be at the editing booth like that evening or the next morning. And we walked over to help and uh, uh -huh. John's like, well, we got a bunch of kids. Kids in the school bus and a doom buggy, and we're just not quite sure what we're going to do. And then that's what happened. As the sun's going down, and we finished that shot because the doom buggy wouldn't drive because the remote something was broken on the steering, and yeah. we almost lost the ship like two or three uh, shots. And then uh, we decided to dig so that it would stay in. And then when that doom buggy left the ground and went in the air so big there was just like the hugest moment of silence it was pretty <laughs> epic and then you had to yep. finish the skit with the lights because we had run out of we had run out of light <laughs> you know yeah, you boys better get home your, your mom's worried <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta, yeah. You can't my, remote control, my remote control life-size bubba car yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, they did correct. <laughs> just just like the first one, the, the Honda Odyssey didn't work either, D. That was the well, first one. I guess one. you can't tell anybody it really wasn't you in there, huh, Bob? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to sign out. We're going it's a little the long. the magic so. of movies, D. I know. <laughs> let's, let's peace out till next week. Well, uh, really cool to have you, uh, Tex. Let's yep. do it again. Uh, you can be 
uh, reoccurring as many times as you want, because, man, story time goes on forever uh, with us and, yeah. and text. <laughs> You. Right, us, and uh, I'm tapping out. So, all right, love you guys. All right, later. 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 See ya. Adios. Thanks, man.